in this video two important causes of hum. The first cause of hum is by the ripple out of the power supply. And I don't want to focus too much on that because I have a published a circuit where you can uh, suppress that hum to the absolute zero level. It is the hum suppressor and the uh, schematic is on my YouTube video. In a YouTube video somewhere on my channel I will give the link. The second cause of hum is caused by not proper electromagnetic shielding. And like I told earlier, I made a box for this amplifier uh, completely shielded by the way. Uh, completely say shielded in an electromagnetical way in this way. Here is that box again. I've showed it earlier. I don't want to make this video too long, but anyway, in our side of that box and here are two ventilation holes. Um, anyway, so uh, uh, an other important, say, a uh, good way to cure or not cure, but say diminish the hum in an audio amplifier, homebrew audio amplifier, that's what I mean. But of course you can also encounter these problems with uh, audio amplifiers that you buy via Ali. Could be a class B or D or C, whatever kind of amplifier. Uh, all audio amplifiers have to be shielded properly. So, um, when you want to know more, go to my book, Schematics 2 Audio Amplifiers and Loudspeaker Boxes. It's a book on the Lulu website and the link will be in the description. But anyway, uh, well, talking about the impedance of an audio amplifier. When you have, say, an audio amplifier, homebrew or not, could be that you hear hum when you connect it to a uh, power supply. Let me show that. Uh, it has everything to do with, say, the completely open here, open input. Here is a capacitor of a 680 nanofarad and that means that this capacitor is directly connected to the base of the first transistor. So uh, it has an endless impedance here. That means that it is very sensitive for hum. Let me show that. So, see, this is the normal sound that you hear with your homebrew amplifier when there is no, say, input uh, at the uh, capacitor separation capacitor of that first transistor here. So, you can surely hear a lot of hum, because the input is completely open, say it is uh, perhaps in a 1 mega ohm range, I don't know that, perhaps 10 mega ohm, that means that say every wire Every wire here receives uh, the 
home signal that's uh, present in a normal household. Uh, for 230 volts it's 50 hertz. Perhaps there are, not perhaps, but surely there are other situations where this hum is 60 hertz. But, well, it's very important, say, this shows that your amplifier is okay, by the way. And of course you connect your oscilloscope to the output where the loudspeaker is, etc, etc. But what I wanted to uh, say, tell, is that uh, when the input here is, say, uh, connected to ground in a certain way, and I've done that here with a 25k potentiometer, the hum disappears. Because the input, the first transistor here, now no longer sees an open input vulnerable to all kinds of uh, hum, but it say is uh, sees a, a a certain impedance that's realized by this uh, 25k potentiometer. So now everything is gone. The hum is gone. That was more or less all to tell. Thanks for watching. Uh, of course, here we still have we still have here on the top of that potentiometer here a very sensitive input that can be used to drive the audio amplifier. No problems with that. But the hum is gone. And say when you touch this. This is completely normal. <coughs> this is not normal, by the way. <laughs> Sorry for that. I, I will only touch the, uh, the, the upper electrode. <coughs> but that's very inter interesting, by the way. Uh, when you touch, for instance, this electrode and that electrode at the same time with your finger. Your finger gives it a kind of uh, low resistance. The, the amplifier starts to oscillate. And I don't know why. But anyway, try again. But, so, uh, I leave this video the way that it is. Also, with this very strange appearance of this oscillation, uh, th th that are things that you can encounter when you make a audio amplifier. So, uh, don't worry, don't worry too much. Again, Let's try to get this strange oscillation beep again. Can I reproduce it? <coughs> well, that's difficult. Uh, so I leave it as it is. Thanks for watching. Uh, I only wanted to point out the two types of hum and then especially hum caused by not, not proper shielding and uh, say um, a too high sensitivity at the output, sorry, at the input of the audio amp. That was all. Thanks for watching. It's only a vlog and in the future I will surely show the complete schematic with the bass boost with, without all these say strange phenomenon etc